here we go. It's very pretty now. Now I look pretty. Welcome back to the Visual Guys and News where Dan's established he looks very pretty. As you're clicking on a video thinking, oh yeah, what's this fat monk saying? And all you get is that initial shot with my little scabby spot. Anyway, it's time to go uh, and see what's happening. Why am I out of breath from jumping forward quick? I am so unfit. But it's that time of the week we get our hats and we turn them backwards and we say... Welcome, welcome one and all, this is the day that you'll find out what it's like to climax through st stories from the news. To be fair, that one time I rubbed one out to Trevor McDonald was beautiful. A good topic of conversation the last few weeks at work as well, visuals, what percentage of gay are you? I'm going to say a good 74.89% APR gay. I'm all the way gay. The gay police are coming to get me, apparently. Have you got your trying visuals? Have you got your your, your liquid to, to wash down these beautiful nerves? Tell you what's what's been on my... Sat, now that's sat back relax. You know what's been on my mind lately, visuals? What, it's, what it would be like to just literally be like a cow or a sheep. Like, you know when you drive, because we drove down to Uddersfield a few weeks ago to go see Green Bay and all of the American idiot. And then you just look out the window and like, you see the sheep, you see the sheep and that just, and the cows just sort of chilling. And I was just sat looking at them going, what is it like to be you? Like, like, like what truly goes on inside their head? Like, do they, like, you know when you see like a dog or whatever, you, you talk to it and you, you feel like there's something coming back to you. Does the sheep just sort of... What? Please let me know. What goes on inside their head? Do they get bored? Do they enjoy that? I, obviously, they're not at the point where they can enjoy shit that we enjoy, like fucking TV and Baskin Robbins and frilly knickers. But the, what, what? What? What do they like? But anyway, we're not here to talk about sheep, are we, Dad? We're here to talk about the guys' news. Uh, what have we got over the this week's news? Let's get on out, you know. Right, so yeah, we're going to get straight into it, visuals, because uh, I have some business to attend to. So it's time we actually cracked on and started to discuss what has happened inside of the news. Here's my toe. Lovely. Have a bow, you ho. The story number uno. Right, listen to this one, visuals. This one is the most fucking mental, and I'm going to say it, retarded thing I've ever heard in my entire life, apart from, have you watched the newest Visual Guys video? That's pretty retarded. Uh, but, um, woman falls in hospital... Told to call ambulance. So she... She was she fell in the hospital, okay? So whatever she's doing. She's visiting De Deborah. Deborah's been with, with a second hip operation. She's got she's got by, by glands, uh, neurological, spina diffia. Uh, and and Susan's coming to see her. She's like, oh, we'll visit, I'll visit Deborah in the hospital. We'll land out. Oh, I've tripped and fell. Oh, so, bit of me bone seems to be hanging out. What should I do? The doctor's like, you should ring an ambulance. To do what? Take me to the building. I'm already fucking in. Why? Mm, why would you do that? You're fell. You've fell. You've fallen around the people that could tend to your wounds and make you feel better. And their advice is, ring someone and they'll bring you here. But they're already here. Yeah, but you've got to ring them. Ooh. Apparently visuals, because again, we like to spread the knowledge. Rain is the biggest factor in flooding. Well, I never. What what seems to be the problem? The water comes down, it makes the water this big to this big. But what could be problem? Water come down, big to big. But what what is cause of problem? Okay, water come, big to big. We'll tell people that the water come, oh, big to big. Big to big! Mm. Oh, we've, we've got our first official quote visuals on the news. This is a quote directly in from the health officials. But Paul's diarrhoea, not a good mix. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because every Wednesday I often feel like, oh, I've got a bit of the shit, so I better go for a swim. Imagine just... Oh, it's okay. It's just poo. Ooh. 
Ooh. Obviously, if you've got diarrhea, don't go to to the pools. Don't go for a swim with other people about when you're shitting your britches. This isn't shit you need to tell us, you know. We understand that when we're pooing a lot, we stay at home and defecate in the toilet. If you're shitting everywhere, do not swim. No, no, I know. Have you ever been in one of those situations where you're like, what was I going to say? We've just found the biggest uh, forgetful moment. What could it be? What could it be? Um, somebody's forgot their baby somewhere. Somebody forgot they won the lottery. Uh, somebody forgot to floss after brushing. Ew, no, man forgot he tried on a hat. That's right. This conversation come up somewhere. I'm probably in a shop. Some guys went like, oh, yeah, very lovely. How great. How, I might buy it. Uh, puts it down the till. And the woman's like, yeah, it's £25. He's like, can I try it on? She's like, you've tried it on. Have I? How, how, how has this made it into a news cycle somewhere around the world? Man forgot he tried on a hat. Wow, we are at the peak pinnacle of human st ingenuity. How to warn your neighbours, okay, visuals, what should you do? Text them, ring them, give a knock on the door. No, you should just climb through the fucking window because man climbs through window, so he uh, says he was warning neighbour of prowlers. That's right, little fucking Robert and fucking Vivian are just sat chilling. Uh, put curry on, love, I, I need to watch curry. All right, Vivian, I'll put curry on. And all of a sudden, through the window... <laughs> Oh my god, it's fucking Richard from number 12. What are you doing, Richard? There's a prowler on the loose. I thought I'd warn you. Why didn't you give us a bloody text? Window. Win window seem better. All right, Richard, thank you very much. Just gonna watch Curry. Ah, uh, I, I could see through window. <laughs> it's not the best way to warn your neighbours of a prowler, because you now look like the prowler. Drunk fails a blow job test. That's right, visuals. Drunk fails blow job test. How did that work? So the woo, step, pull your vehicle over and step out of the car. Just fucking, just give me uh, the pull up. Step out of the vehicle with your hands behind your head and not turn around. Uh, you fucking, you win it, win it in. Okay, now I'm going to get you to suck up my penis to find out how drunk you are. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is and what, what happens. I don't think the police are pulling over people to say, are you drunk? Oh, we've had one or two. Get on it. It's okay, no worries, officer. Not again. It's <laughs> Plus, how could you fail a blowjob test? Honestly, ask anybody. It's all about the wrist. Yeah, so next time you get pulled over by the police and you may have had one too many, prepare for some schmegma on your teeth. And finally, visuals, that leaves us with the sports and weather, where this week we're going to be taking a look for the sports at Sexy Mario. And for the weather, we're taking a look at... What have I written? Sports! Yeah! Whatever! Fuck you! Oh, this, this, this game is how sexy can you be as Mario, and this guy has got a full... 10.12 ring a ling a ding ding. The weather. Ah, for this week's weather, it's raining. What the fuck is happening inside of this anime then? Guy comes in, he's got like a shirt, rips it off, sports bra, boom in some guy's face. <sighs> that concept was in somebody's head and they made it into an anime. And finally, visuals for this week stands up the end, and I'm fucked. I don't know what's happening. Me and me and Patrick have been at the pub, and all he keeps doing is rubbing Red Bull and saying, "Soon, what soon, Patrick? What soon?" A dance, happy ending. Look at him down there with his with his big Red Bull. Patrick, what soon? Is your ball gonna hatch? Is there gonna be a little puny Patrick coming out of the ball? What is the ball? Why is it hatching? Is it an egg? Patrick and his ball soon. Will you find out visuals? Probably not. And there you have it, visuals. That was this week's edition of the Visual Guys News, where I've been very annoying and very cringe, and I'm very sleppy all of a sudden. I've got the magic in me. Every time you have to, I've got the magic in me.
the rest of the video will be you watching me slip. Not really, but my eyes have all of a sudden, maybe I've got bored of my, maybe it's finally happened, I've realised why nobody likes me. It's because they're all bored of my shit crack, and I've just stumbled across it. Here's yours, that was the news, thank you so much for watching, shut the fuck up car, I've got the window open, because it's such an unfit. Here's yours, keep being you and keep on keeping on. Have a lovely weekend. <sighs>